Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for coming back. Hope you're having an awesome day. And I'm going to do a quick video. At least I hope it's quick. I start talking sometimes and <laughs> they end up not being that quick. But I'm going to try to make it fast today. And this is a Luminar quick tip. And what I'm talking about is doing a complete edit on a photo with only three filters. Now, I'm going to admit I'm biased to all the filters in Luminar. Well, not all of them. Some of them are kind of redundant. But there's a lot of great filters in there. I love them. Um, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know, I, I stick filter and filter and filter, and then I might add another layer and do filter and filter and filter. And I love to do that. It gives me all the creative, all these creative uh, potential outputs and, you know, possibilities that are just really fun to explore. But sometimes you just kind of want to haul ass, uh, get a photo done, and you don't need to do a lot to it. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And this is the photo. So let me show you the before. Here's the before, single exposure taken in Prague and the after. Three filters real quick, let's hop into it. Okay, so the three filters were tone, split toning, and adjustable gradient. I had to look because um, those are three of my favorites. I'm probably gonna do a video at some point and talk about my favorite filters in Luminar. Um, but anyway, this isn't that. Uh, so these three, tone, split toning, and adjustable gradient. Super powerful, really great at giving you control over the light and the color and uh, you know the top and the bottom of the photo. I think it's a great approach. Um, so let me start with tone. Um, let me actually back up. The, the base photo, right? This is one uh, photo, my center exposure from a set of brackets. But many times, you know, I'll shoot brackets. I don't use them all. I don't need to build an HDR. So base photo, right? So with tone, I, I took back control of the light. If you look here, I added some contrast. I increased smart tone, which is going to brighten the dark spots but not affect the bright spots. And I took the highlights way down. So one more time. Before, not blown out, but definitely bright in the sky. And after, a lot more uh, balanced in the sky you know, compared to the foreground. So I think we're getting there. Um, and then I jumped into split toning. And this was a, a quick hit uh, in order to adjust the colors. And bam, um, I mean, that's a lot. And in fact, now that I'm looking at it, I might actually take it down a little bit. Um, you know, something like that. But regardless, you have the opportunity to make a huge and rapid impact on color using split toning. And if you haven't used it, I recommend you get in there and just like dive in. It's fairly simple. You have highlights and you have shadows. And within each, you can adjust the hue, which is basically what color range are you looking at, um, and saturation, which is basically how much of that color do you want applied. And if you're in the highlight section, then it's being applied to the highlights of the photo. And if you're in the shadow section, that color is being applied to the shadow section. That's split toning. You're splitting the tones into highlights or shadows and then adjusting the colors of each independently. So as you can see here, I went kind of in the orangey yellow hue for the uh, highlights and a tiny bit as well in, of the same color in shadows just to give it all a warmer look. But I definitely wanted it to pop more in the... Uh, uh, in the highlights, so I added more there. Uh, I'm gonna go back to 100 just because I kind of like it. Um, now that I'm not looking at it, I'm like, oh, I kind of miss my color. Um, so already two filters in and bam, I mean, I've got a way different photo, right? Before, after. So, and this is where I get adjustable gradient. Let me turn that on. And uh, this was, again, a little bit of both. It allows you to manage the light, but also manage some of the color there, which um, I think is great. So in the top, I just took the exposure down slightly, added a, just a smidge of contrast and gave it some warmth. And then in the bottom, I uh, bumped the exposure pretty considerably, 43, added a bit more contrast, uh, and then also added some warmth. Bottom line is I'm looking at this photo and Frankly, I love it. Uh, it's from the, the tower on the Charles Bridge looking over at St. Vitus Cathedral and Prague Castle across the river at sunset. It was a beautiful sunset, uh, but as you probably know, when you shoot raw and you have a single image, uh, it doesn't really capture it the way you see it. And so I wanted to bring it back, but I wanted to just kind of motor through it. I think I'm shaking the table and probably the mic. But anyway, I wanted to motor through it, and so I did. And I was like, well, what can I do that would be quick and you know, hopefully uh, educational and entertaining? So. That's it, tone, split toning, and adjustable gradient. And I went from that to that. Now, in full disclosure mode, I added another layer, and that was an erased image layer. And all I did is I erased a couple things over here. There was a boat, there was a little pylon, and a spot, and then another little pylon. And so there's the before. If you look there in those areas, you'll see them. And the after, that was the spot removal tool in Luminar, which I think works great. But um, it's basically, even if you don't count the, uh, the erase tool, it's a three filter edit. So it's a full photo edit with only three filters. I think that's a big deal. And to me, that demonstrates the power and flexibility of Luminar. Um, and as much as I love to just dump filters on photos and get really creative, sometimes I have a simple shot 
that just needs to be enhanced a little bit, brought back to how it really looked, because this was a beautiful sunset. I mean, there were some nice oranges in the sky, but as you uh, saw, the base photo is just not feeling it, right? It's just not feeling it. Uh, so there we go, before, after. I think it's absolutely stunning. A little biased, I took it uh, and I turned it into this, but it's reminiscent of what I uh, experienced that night in Prague. And that's it, a three filter quick edit in Luminar. I hope it helps if you haven't used those three filters. Tone, split tone, and adjustable gradient, super powerful, give you a lot of control. And you know, hey, if, if you don't have time to master all 50 filters in Luminar, totally get it. Everybody doesn't sit around and jack with this like I do and you don't have the time and I get it. Um, but those three, you got time for that, right? Take a little break from whatever you're doing. Run to your computer. Try those three filters. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Like, subscribe, share, uh, comment. Hey, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'm going to try to do more of these quick tips, a little shorter video, so I don't take too much of your time because you want to go edit photos just like I do. So I'll try to make some of my videos short and uh, to the point. And this is one of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you, uh, see you real soon, my friends. Take care and adios.